Oh, it's about to be 11 a.m. I decided to sleep in. Uh, it's, it's a nice peaceful campsite, but it's time to get up and go. I remember waking up with the boys at camp and like you would just hear one of these go off and you knew it was time to get up and go as soon as one person was ready. I missed the boys. You know, I forgot to tell y'all, I think it was two days ago, Caleb, he got picked up. He, he was in Texas and he just was having a real rough week. He was feeling sick, a couple other things. And yeah, he called his dad to pick him up. So yeah, his dad drove from Alabama to Texas and Caleb didn't finish his tour. I really, I'm worried about my friend, you know? Cause like failures like that on a goal like this, it could really lead to like depression and stuff like that. So I really hope he comes out better. I got faith in him. He's a strong dude. Let's get up, let's get, let's get out of here. Good morning. Oh. I feel really at home here, almost. It really feels nice here. I would have been so mad at myself if I would have missed out on this. I know I would have beat myself up over it at home if I were to see pictures of this place. It's amazing here. Woke up to just amazingness. Did not think that there was bison in this area. I thought it was way out of bison territory. Pretty cool. Made it. Your turn. <laughs> so this pass right here should get me right in. How you doing, sir? Hi. And uh, the signature on the back is that you? By golly, you even have your ID handy. Which yeah. which part of Florida here? There we go. I mean, usually they don't even check the ID. They just get a glimpse of the pass and just wave me right in. I haven't had to use it that much. Like usually. Sometimes I pull up to a national park after hours. Sometimes there's a trail that takes you in. Sometimes it's like self-pay. But a handy pass if you're gonna be traveling a lot. It saves you a lot of money. I'm almost there. It's getting prettier and prettier. So I'm descending off the Kaibab Plateau, I think, or is it the Kanab Plateau? And then I'm getting towards that plateau where the, where the North Rim is. I'm like eight miles away or something, probably like seven. For one of the best views of the trip. Ever since we started planning this four years ago, the Grand Canyon was always like, that was one of the original waypoints. Like back then we knew we were gonna go to Yellowstone, California somewhere, the Redwoods and here Grand Canyon everything else we weren't really sure starting to see the the drop off look like if you see them between the trees oh you can't really see on camera but right behind these line of trees there's like the canyon see it's all open wow I'm like a mile away from like where the trailhead is to the I guess the main viewpoint the one where this road ends on. This is my first view of the Grand Canyon. Oh wow. That's crazy up here. I usually don't get that scared from heights, but like up here it's like it's on another level.
Oh, I'm so hot right now. It's scary. Very hot. It's breathtaking, literally. go down that side road I might want to camp somewhere close to the Grand Canyon I know it's gonna be super windy and super cold I kind of want to see the sunrise here I don't know if I should get on the road I mean I got some nice views but I feel like I could get some more I could spend some more time here this is I'm heading down Cape Royale Road. Scenic. Road's a little narrower, but it's nice. You know, it's always been my dream to camp on the Grand Canyon and see the sunrise and see the stars at night. And I think that might happen tonight. Hopefully I find a good ducked off safe spot. I think the sun sets in less than 20 minutes or 30 minutes but in my cleat one of my shoes doesn't clip in see this one the cleats all messed up I won't I won't be able to get one for like almost a week I already ordered it but it just takes that long to ship and I try to order it like where I estimate I'm gonna be at a week ahead in Escalante hey mr. deer or missus don't look like you got any antlers. Look at these pretty flowers. So so pretty. Uh.
Oh my, right off the road, look at this view. Carry my bike. This view. Oh wow. It's gonna be dark soon. Y'all pray for me tonight. Hopefully I find a good campsite, safe, quiet. Look at this view. I know you can't see right now, but right above this road is the Milky Way. Even with my light on, I can still get a decent look at it. That's nice. It won't last too long, I think, because there's like a full moon, or almost a full moon that'll rise soon. Out of the east, I think, it rose out of last night. It is beautiful out here. <laughs> I think the only time I've seen the sky like this, compared to this, is like Death Valley. Maybe a couple other places, but it's pretty dark right now and super nice. So this is where I'm going to sleep for a little bit, I guess, before it gets too cold and I might have to run to the bathrooms half a mile away. Got some canyon views. That's a big drop. That last picture I took with my bike right there, you can't see the view in the video though. Let's check out my sleep spot. I didn't feel like setting my tent up, so just sleeping right on this. Can't wait to wake up to the sunrise right over here. A bunch of people showed up while I was in the bathroom. Like multiple cars. Pretty sure they're on this trail somewhere. The sun will rise in probably like 20 minutes, according to Google. Is that the Colorado River down there? I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that in the distance is. That looks like water down there. Look at my baby. I guess it was a successful night. I didn't get that cold. I slept on the Grand Canyon, right out on the rim. Look at that, sun coming out. <laughs> it's a good morning. It's gonna be a great day. I'm out here.
This is one of my favorite sunrises I've ever had. I've had a lot of good ones. That was worth the out of the way trip for sure. And the extra night. <laughs> it's narrow. Oh. oh wow. This one's really exposed, this cliff. This is probably one of the best seats in the whole park. Don't worry, there's like a tiny ledge that should catch you if you were to flip. Probably not. <laughs> so that was a great decision to camp over in this area. like. I was, I was pretty nervous last night. Like, part of me thought, you know, it was a great idea and it turned out to be an awesome idea, but you know, there's always that part of you that tries to tell you, you know, to go be safe, go camp, like closer to a campground where you're kind of supposed to, but that was one of my best solo camps ever. Well, best camps in general, best sunrise. This view. It's one of my best views. I had a great night. I guess you could say one of my best nights. <laughs> That's crazy. One sport that really gets me is like those people that wear those wingsuits and they jump off things like this and just fly. Oh, right now, just thinking about it with this view in front of me, that, that just makes me want to get a little bit away. That's like a crazy sport. Like... Maybe I'll have the, the balls to do that one day. I wanna try a bunch of different like crazy like outdoor sports. This is just the beginning. People say this is a trip of a lifetime, but I don't really want it to be. I want, I want like my whole life to be like this. Like I want it to be one of my trips of a lifetime. The inevitable thought. I wish I would have shared this moment with Caleb and Danny like we were supposed to.
Let's get out of here. As much as I want to stay and watch the sunset again on the other side, it's time to go. I had a great time here. Look at this awesome picnic site. Then it says a wedding site right there. I guess that's what I slept at actually. Coming back to get my Gatorade and fix up a bench I left mess. I left out of place. Yeah, this is where I woke up. What an awesome experience right down there. Now I'm out, back on the road. Whoa. That's a crazy view. That's crazy, I was all the way up on top of that. Cliff Spring Trail? Spring half a mile, wow. Dang, I'm tempted to go down it. <laughs> I'll definitely be back to the Grand Canyon someday. What's up, dear? Why are you coming over here, man? Kind of scaring me. No, go away, dear. You're gonna charge me, bro? Like, what the fuck? Do you have babies here? Go, guy. You're scaring me. Just trying to have my breakfast, bro. Like... Trying to eat some snacks. I don't got none for you. You're pretty bold, dude. National Park deer right there. I'm scared to pull out my food and eat it because I feel like he'll come and try to take it. Is that what he wants? Can you get on and get? Watch out, Buck. Go. I'm just trying to grab my stuff. I think he was curious about my stuff right here. He's just been chilling. Like he's been he's been here for at least ten minutes. I heard him earlier, like in the bushes. And he's just not scared. So, I got off the road a little bit to get this nice view while I eat a couple snacks I have here. And this deer over here, he's just been hanging around. He's not even scared at all. He's checking out my bike. He's He's been here for over an hour. What the fuck? 
Come on, man. Hey, that's my light. No. Yo, that's my light. Yo, don't mess with my rear light, bro. That's my light. What are you doing licking my light? Bro, leave that alone, bro. What are you... What's this guy doing? You're gonna rip my light off. Better not mess my bike up. You can look at it. Don't take nothing off it, man. Come on. What are you doing, bro? Yo, chill out, dude. He's getting bold as heck, dude. Hey. Chill out, dude. You don't want to eat. That's my bike, bro. I don't want you messing it up. There's no food. Yo, what are you doing? What are you looking for on it? Look, it's all wet from his saliva. <laughs> I don't really care, dude. You can lick it. Just, but he was like biting my rear light at one point. That's the only reason like I was tripping about it. scared of the zipper noise. I chilled with the young buckaroo. That was an awesome experience just chilling with that with that buck or deer. It was Felt, felt magical, rejuvenating to my spirit. I'm 8,500 feet up. There's not as much oxygen up here as there is down where I'm from. Oh. Oh. oh wow. I'm so glad I came down this road. I know I've said it a million times. I don't know if you can see these trees rustling, but it looks looks pretty cool to the eyes.
where I slept. It's these group campsite areas. And they've been empty the past couple of days. When I pass through here, there's nothing here. Real peaceful night. I got a little cold, but I wrapped myself up in my tent and my rain fly and I was better. I did hear a bunch of coyotes last night. That was so scary sounding. They sound so creepy. They were all around too. Like I was almost scared that I was gonna wake up to one of them coming and dragging me off this, this picnic table. Them just tearing me up. <laughs> But I survived through the night. Time to get up out of here. Oh, man. Oh, man. There you go. I'm back in Utah. Probably gonna be here for a, a long while, to be honest. I got a lot of exploring to do in this great big state. Whew. Leaving Kanab. These next few days are about to be super scenic. Probably among the best scenery of the whole tour. It's about to get real these next couple weeks right here. I'm excited for that. I feel like I've been in this southwest area forever. I need to get back towards the middle and then back east. I'm ready to kill it though. It's been a while since I've seen this many cow pastures, I've been seeing them more lately. Probably because there's not much grass fields, you know, where I've been riding through. Ooh, they're running. So, it's 716, and it was real hot, a lot of climbing, and like, directly in the sun. But now the sun has dipped below the mountains to the left of me. And yeah, it's way nicer now. Real comfortable riding. What y'all looking at, cows? <laughs> y'all never seen a cyclist before? There's a lot of deer out here. Oh. There's so many deer, like 20 at least. <laughs> 10 miles from a hotel, well actually like 12. Maybe 13. <laughs> oh, another one. That one was a different color. Where are y'all at? <laughs> a lot of deer out here.